Hi guys, we're here at the Baxa Theatre in Cape Town for the Ultimate Battle of the Ones. Teen Wizards will be wanting it out for the Ultimate Junior Magician title. I'm here with David, the Director of the College of Magic, and he will tell us more about this magical annual event. The College of Magic is the only magical organization of its kind in the whole of Cape Town. And today we are presenting a close-up championships and a stage magic championships, which forms part of the Umlingo Festival of Excellence. Uh, the close-up uh, championships is where the young people perform magic right under the noses of their spectators and amuse them with card effects and tricks with coins. And the stage magic is the stunning big illusions which are going to really blow the audience away. Sounds magical. I'm here with Aaron. Can you tell us how old you are and how you got into magic? I'm 15 and I got into magic by watching my first magician perform at my fifth birthday party. Can you show us an easy trick for our viewers? And I will show you the floating cup illusion. And now I'm going to reveal the trick. And what we have is we have two cards glued together like so, but we create a, a secret flap like this and you keep it hidden the whole time. You just open the flap like, like so, this is the back view, and then you just balance the cup on it. Whoa, that is absolutely crazy. I'm here with Anette from Kai Licha. He is a multi-talented magician. He's performed in the World Magic Seminar in Las Vegas, and he is competing in both close-up and stage magic. Which one do you find more, more difficult, the stage or the close-up? I find it more difficult the close-up because you have to get the script going and you have to you talk along the act. So Liam, what do you enjoy most about magic? Um, the thing I enjoy most is when you're trying to do something that seems almost impossible, but then you pull it off and the audience's reaction to that is, must be my favorite thing. So Sokobelu, what do you enjoy most about magic? The best part when you perform for a person, that moment when it goes wow, and when you just finish performing from stage, the stand-up ovation, people don't stop clapping all the stuff too. That's what I enjoy most about magic. Magic stuff, man. I'm here with Alex. He is a surfer from Hart Bay. He has a comedic style and digs cards. Can you show our viewers an easy card trick? You actually only need two cards from the deck. You glue the one side and you just stick it on to the back of the other card. The trick is just to flick it across and there you have it, magic. <laughs> yeah, that's magical. I'm here with Vuyo from Kaya Licha. How old are you and how did you get into magic? Okay, um, I'm 16 years old. I got to magic by my uncle Pumile. So like for me, magic has been an awesome thing because it has kept me out of streets. So now on Saturdays, I'm staying out of gangsterism. I go to College of Magic and then we are learning incredible things there. I heard that you've been working on your trick, the floral sensation, for the past two years. Can you tell us a bit about that? Uh, this is not like any kind of egg. This is uh, the magic that involves appearing flowers and uh, vanishing flowers in the act. Sounds amazing. And now for my disappearing act. Abracadabra. Abracadabra.